Okay guys, let me just tell you, you guys absolutely killed it with the likes and just overall engagement in the last video. We got over 1,600 likes and over 300 comments. That's literally what I love to see. I appreciate that so fucking much. But anyways, hey, what is up? It is your boy Milo from Atlantis and I am here to give you guys yet another Supreme unboxing. And as you can see, it, it's pretty massive. Hey, that's what she said. I mean, you guys already know every single week I take W's. You guys see the live cops. I cop victories back to back like my boy Aubrey Graham, AKA Drizzy Drake Rogers. By the way, I watched a video on YouTube where they used a crane to lift up this beautiful handcrafted Egyptian marble bathtub into this man's bathroom. Could you imagine washing your balls in this masterpiece? That would be absolutely amazing. Drake is truly living every man's dream. Drake! Anyways, you guys already know, if the Supreme Live Cop was actually an Olympic sport, I'd be a gold medalist. I have no idea how I did it, but to commemorate all the W's that I have taken over the weeks, I decided to bring you guys this unboxing. Keep in mind, this is everything prior to the week where they dropped the Ziploc bags. If you guys watched, I copped over 20 boxes of those. I got a bunch of motion logos. I have another unboxing coming soon that might even be bigger than this one. If you guys would like to see that, of course, smash the like button. If this video gets more likes and more comments than the live cop, the second that I get the package in that I ordered this last Thursday, I will record that and show you guys the rest of the stuff that I picked up this season. Speaking of Thursday, yes, it was one of the few times I took an L this season. Not my proudest moment, but obviously the attack of the bots came. They are slowly but surely achieving world domination. That being said, I've actually partnered with Manscaped today to teach you guys about a different kind of bot. A bot that does not steal the Supreme out of our grubby little fingertips. It actually helps you clean up your grubby little balls. It's really for grooming everything under the shoulders, but when it comes to the testes, the balls, the hot air balloons, I personally get extremely nervous when doing any sort of yard work, landscaping, or <laughs> manscaping in that region. Personally, I don't have balls made of gold handcrafted by King Midas himself like the homie Gold member from Austin Powers. I even lost my genitalia in an unfortunate smelting action. So I got to be careful and that being said, thankfully the lawnmower 3.0 is here to assist me. Definitely the closest thing to the tractor beam that technology can provide with its skin safe technology. It's water resistant, TSA approved, USB rechargeable, completely cordless and it has an LED light. Yes, a freaking laser beam. Freaking laser beam. Perfect for illuminating the area in which you are manscaping. Now I know some of you may be thinking, well Jacob, why do I need a separate trimmer for my balls when I can just use the one that I use for my face? And if, if that's you, I love you, but that's f***ing disgusting. I keep focusing on the balls, but really it's for all grooming. Trimmers like this where it's not gonna cut me up, perfect for all three of my nipples. That being said, testicles and third nipples put to the side. Manscaped is an amazing company that has all the tools for all of your men's grooming needs. And I'll leave a link in the description down below, so click that link. If you guys see anything you want, of course, use my code STAR, S-T-A-R-R, which will give you 20% off. Also, when you use that code, not only do you get 20% off, but you get a travel bag, and on top of that, you get some Manscaped boxers. So definitely check that link in the description down below. I think the only thing they do not have is a handmade Egyptian marble bathtub that was specifically created for Drake. But Manscaped, I would really recommend getting one of those because I would love to wash my balls in it. One eternity later. We're gonna do things a little bit different in this video. I just unboxed everything. The reason for that is because I got a lot of duplicates. I don't wanna go over something and then waste time unboxing something so I can go over that same piece again. I just feel like it ends up getting really redundant. But anyways, this piece right here, the first piece that I need to show you guys is the absolutely beautiful Waves Pants. It's from the Waves collection. I got a lot of stuff from this collection. I think seven or eight of my orders went through. But originally, I thought I got the jacket and the pants. So I'm not going to lie. I was kind of let down when I unboxed everything and did not see the jacket. I got a charge on one of my cards, but I never got an email confirmation. And I did say that in the video. But of course, size 30 Waves pants. I absolutely needed these drip or drown. You already know the vaginal secretions are going to be major when I pull up to the party in this Wave Collection pant. Also on top of that, you got the koi fish and as my man Paul Cantu, who is a famous historian here on YouTube, once said, fishes get you bitches. Beautiful pair of pants. You guys know I have an obsession with pants. In fact, in the last video that I did, I showed you guys these pants right here, which are the uh, Supreme CDGs. I got these for actually under retail, which is pretty crazy. If you guys want to see the pants collection, of course, smash the like button down below. <laughs> And like I said, I did get three pairs. So here's two other pairs, size 30. Yes, all three pairs are size 30, which is actually pretty insane because these are doing pretty good in terms of resale. And these are pieces that eventually will go up over time. I think right now they're going for right around 80 to $100 over retail. And on top of that, I don't really sell on platforms like StockX, Grailed, eBay, Go, or anything like that. So I don't really have to worry about seller fees for me personally. But just for fun, I'll actually put a little counter right here so that way we can see how much I would make because there are a couple items that currently 
definitely are going to go under retail. But as you guys know, I do resell full time. That's actually how I pay for a lot of this stuff. A lot of people ask how I buy all these clothes. That's because I do resell a lot of the clothes that I buy. Like I said, follow me on my resale page, Robitus and Poppy, R O B I T U S S I N P A P I. Anyways, we also got the Waves Crusher. This right here was definitely a come up. This piece, I believe, is currently going for like 40 or 50 over retail. Uh, it, the brim is tiny. Look at this. You got the little Supreme tag right there. Uh, definitely almost no brim. Once again, you have the vaginal secretions all over the headpiece. You got this vicious koi fish swimming throughout the entire piece. And then, of course, you have this blue box logo. And here are the ceramic bowls. These currently are actually not that bad. They're only going for like, I think, 10 or 20 over retail, which is kind of crazy because this piece sold out really quickly, which means a lot of people single carded this. And that means almost every single person that's selling them online right now after seller fees is basically losing money, which is insane to me but this is a really nice bowl something that I do think could go up over time once again you have this beautiful wave pattern it's a ceramic bowl you have the supreme box logo at the bottom right there and then of course you have the red box logo right there as well my slots are hitting man if you're not in the premium discord I don't know what you're doing with your life that was a really good week for slots see a lot of that stuff was almost impossible to cop manual once again you see another ceramic bowl right there and then you see yet another ceramic bowl right here. Yo, that was a good ass week, man. I was so hyped because I love this collection. A lot of the stuff I do resell, but like, for example, those pants, I'm keeping one of those for my personal collection because I really did like that print a lot. I do wish I would've gotten the jacket. I'm not too mad. As long as I get the print on a pair of pants, I'm happy. The pants this season were fire. I mean, obviously I'm wearing the grid paisley chinos. I got these in two colors. I got the contrast the carpenter pants. I got so many new pairs of pants this season. Overall, this spring, summer 2020 season was absolutely amazing. Next up, we have these patchwork shorts. This was actually a really good live because I got this in a size small and on top of that I also got the contrast boonie in a single cart so I got this and this a lot of people went for other colors of this I didn't really care about the other colors I knew all the colors were gonna do right around the same price that being said this is currently going for over retail I believe this is going for like 30 or 40 over retail there's a good amount of sales on this so I do think this will go up over time as well I think that within a couple months this will be like right around anywhere from 100 to 120 dollars and then these are also going over retail I kind of want to keep these I think they're sick as fuck but I try not to keep too many things for the personal collection. This is obviously how I take care of my family. It's hard for me to convince myself to keep something, but that being said, these are just so freaking sick. And I already got those CDG pants for the personal. I got those wave pants for the personal. And I recently got this for the personal as well. This is an older piece. This is from fall, winter, 2015. This Supreme Playboy collaboration was probably one of the best Supreme Playboy collaborations that they have done. And a lot of the pieces from this collection, the sweatpants, the sweatshirt, the leather jacket, all these pieces actually resell really well. I recently just sold the hoodie actually on Robotus and Poppy as well. And so that's why I don't think I can justify keeping the patchwork shorts because I already have too many pieces for my personal collection. Once again, the premium slots did hit for another boonie as well. So I did get this colorway. This colorway was a little bit more hyped than the red color, but they are going for right around the same price right now. You have the beautiful classic logo. You have all these little straps right here to store condoms and other sorts of tools. All right, so this next, uh, oh man. <laughs> Shit, man. Okay, so um, I gotta kind of take this L. I gotta, I gotta just, I gotta hold the L. Vanna, put those L's on there. <laughs> so this piece I thought was gonna do a lot better. I think it's still on the site currently. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Which is pretty freaking crazy because this was a pretty popular piece. I don't know if they just made a sh ton of these, but I got a whole stack of these and this is the uh, Naomi crew neck. I think this piece is hard as shit. We saw the tea drop, which had some more artwork from Mark Gonzalez on it. Once again, you have Mark Gonzalez artwork throughout this entire piece. You have this little face down here. My bay is looking absolutely beautiful on this crew neck. I did find the original magazine that this shoot was from. It was from like some Paris Vogue magazine in like the 1990s, if I remember correctly. And I found an image from this shoot, but I could not find this exact image. That being said, overall super dope piece. I think this is one of the sicker pieces that dropped this season. I was excited for this and I'm kind of surprised to be honest, but that being said, it was one of the few pieces I was wrong about, as you guys know. I didn't necessarily say this would resell, but I did say that it would be one of those pieces that would hold its value. That being said, it is currently going for under resale, which is kind of a letdown. One thing to keep in mind about this piece or a lot of the other overdyed hoodies or overdyed slash sublimation dyed pieces is that they are always made in China or Portugal, like I always tell you guys. The Bling hoodie and the Ramel Z hoodie were made in Portugal. However, this one, although it's also a sublimation dye, this one's actually made in China. Normally, the crewnex or hoodies will have a little tag and it will say made in Canada. This one does not, it just says Supreme, size small. And then when you flip it to the inside and you look at the wash tag, it does say made in China. Now this piece is really dope and a lot of the Mark Gonzalez pieces do go up over time. So I'm not quite sure how this will do later on in the future. I will say right now, I'm just gonna hold the L and just assume it's a brick. I think it's sick as f One of my favorite pieces, like I said. Mark Gonzalez is an absolute legend. If you guys don't know, he's basically the mastermind behind blind skateboards. He created this font right here, which Supreme has actually used that exact same font many times. Basically almost every single season, we see some artwork from Mark Gonzalez 
or the Gons. But yeah, super dope piece. I love the uh, little added artwork that he did to it, and I just think it looks really sick. Of course, you have the Supreme spell, S-U-P-R-E-A-M, which is normally how he spells Supreme. Supreme moves everything around me. Yeah, uh, Supreme definitely handed me an L on this one. Yeah, I got another one. And, uh, yeah, I got another one. I mean, she's just so beautiful. I mean, I had to do it. Come on, you know, Naomi, my baby, my baby girl, she's looking absolutely gorgeous. So, of course, you know, I got another one. And, uh, yeah, um, last but definitely not least. <laughs> I got another one. Okay, so yeah, that was definitely an L. That definitely cut into my profits a little bit. A lot of the other pieces, I think, were decent. Uh, this piece right here, I did say this would stay right around retail. These are the small box hoodies. Uh, I will say there were a couple colors that actually did have resale, like for example, the olive small box hoodie, which I did mention, and the small and extra large, both going for about 40 to $50 over retail, which is like a 20 to 25% return on your investment. By the way, I know I'm talking a lot about resale because as I mentioned, I do resale full time. I do love streetwear. I don't only buy to resale. You guys saw some of the pieces that I'm keeping like for example that playboy leather jacket the cdg pants the waves collection pants i might even keep a ceramic bowl there are pieces that i just love so much i cannot get rid of that being said of course i do this full time to provide for my family and uh yeah man i think overall if you know the market of course eventually you're gonna take l's like i did with the naomi crew neck that being said there are still a ton of pieces that do at least hold their value or i think will go up over time these right here these are sitting for right around retail right now i think these could potentially go up and see uh definitely a nice little increase in price these are the small box lilac tees do keep in mind the retail on these are a little bit more expensive than the standard supreme t-shirt but i got two of those we got the keegan dakar basketball jersey i've never played basketball a day in my life i'm just kidding actually i used to be a baller i just was really short but anyways uh this right here is a pretty cool basketball jersey keegan dakar is an artist based out of new york he's a tattoo artist his artwork is actually really dope a lot of the stuff that he released with supreme this season didn't really get the love it deserved and i just feel i don't know it's just like i actually really like the spell out but some of his spells are really dope some of his artwork is really dope i do feel like they just picked the wrong pieces to put his artwork on I feel like it would have translated a lot better on like for example the sweatpants he did those would have looked so sick on a pair of supreme chino pants kind of like these paisley grid chinos this is kind of a brick i think it's going for like right around retail once again this is a piece that could go up over time but i don't really care if it does i think it's a cool ass piece that being said these pieces right here were major dubs these actually sat on the site and uh i feel like a lot of people were curious as to why i got so many and if you look at stock x right now you'll know why i got so many but i got a red one a purple one a green one and if you look almost all of these are going for like 40 or 50 dollars over retail and i think that they will continue to go up this piece right here i knew was gonna flip you got the supreme chesticle embroidery right there right on the titty you got some embroidery going down both sleeves by the way where this chesticle embroidery is gonna be right over that nipple i'm telling you guys that manscape lawnmower 3.0 is going to alleviate that nipple of any hair because it's cool to have embroidery on your hoodie but it's not cool to have embroidery on your titty so i'm just letting you guys know check out the link below but anyways you have the back embroidery going crazy insane there's at least 400 billion three reds in this thing i swear look at the hoodie too on both sides of the hood you have well on this side you have clouds on this side you have uh homie with this long ass tongue looking like a satanic porn star definitely about to pull up and steal your girl anyways this thing is looking crazy they're all going for like 40 or 50 over retail this was definitely a good piece to cop and like i said it was super easy to get i got four of these do keep in mind these are made in china so if you do buy these resale that is what the tag is going to look like no it is not fake because it's made in china i get a lot of people messaging me with pieces that are made in china and they ask like oh is this fake i thought it was all made in canada that's why i always try to talk about the tags with you guys and let you guys know some of the stuff is made in canada but some of the hoodies depending on how it's produced whether it's over dyed or that you do sublimation dye is made in china or portugal or other countries i've even seen certain pieces made in bangladesh thankfully though these actually do not smell like child labor I they actually smell really good to be honest this kind of smells like the uniforms that we got in basic training and that's a really specific thing so if you were never in the military you probably won't understand but even if you were in the military, you probably wouldn't understand until you smelled it. So if you are in the military and you happen to have this hoodie and you remember basic training, smell it and then you'll know what I'm talking about. Next up, we have the North Face Supreme Tote. I got another one of these. I did unbox one of these not too long ago when I did the Supreme North Face unboxing. Speaking of that, that collaboration is one of the most slept on collaborations of all time. This is my Supreme North Face closet. If you guys wanna see a Supreme North Face collection video, smash like button. I've been thinking about doing one of those in this off season, but here you have the North Face. I already showed this piece off, but I just need to show love to it again because it's such a beautiful freaking piece. I think I still have the video showing how this piece fits. Yo, this piece is 
fire. This looks like the North Face that they probably gave 6ix9ine when he went to jail, and he just busted nuts all over that thing the entire time he was incarcerated. The entire, like, three weeks or whatever. Anyways, uh, you got the transparent lock. This is a good little accessory to have. Right now, these are going for, like, a couple dollars over retail. Definitely a good accessory to have and an accessory that I think will go up over time. You got the steel line bags. This is kind of a brick. It's probably going for a little bit less than retail. You can literally see through it, but, um, you can put stuff in here. It's waterproof. It's a nice little accessory to have regardless. I usually throw those in accessory raffles. Like I said, if you want to follow me on my resale page, Robotista Poppy, check that out. I got a bunch of box logos. I got some stickers. I will say the rumors of ponchos and Oreos coming in packages are true. I got two Oreos. I got one poncho. I'm kind of curious to see if the other orders will have more Oreos and more ponchos in them. Like I said, if you would like to see that unboxing, smash that like button down below. If you have not smashed that like button, like how are you still watching? Like you, if you made it this far and you've been watching my big head, oh, Bob the Builder, bobblehead ass, still talk about this stuff. You clearly fuck with me a little bit. So please take a second, smash like button down below. But what do you guys think of the unboxing? Of course, what have you guys caught this season? Like I said, if you want to see the other unboxing, make sure you smash the like button. If you want to see the North Face Supreme collection, make sure you smash the like button. If you want to see the pants collection, I got, I just got a ton of content coming. So make sure you show some love, smash the like button down below. Show some love in the comments. I sincerely appreciate you. Also, while you're down there showing some love in the comments, please show some love to the sponsor. When you support the sponsor, it does help support the channel. So of course, check out Manscaped by clicking that link down below. If you decide to purchase anything, of course, use my code STAR, S-T-A-R-R -R for 20% off your order. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. And before I say goodbye, make sure you follow me on Instagram, the star life, T-H-E-S-T-A-R-R-L-I-F-E. I promise you I have some cool content coming. So definitely follow me on there. Follow my resale page, Robertson Poppy. And I got to show love to the Discord. So of course, if you're not in the premium Discord, I don't know what you're doing with your life. I'll leave a link down in the description below underneath my Instagram. I would not have caught nearly as much shit if it wasn't for the premium. Like those three pairs of pants from the Wave Collection, those ceramic bowls, even the Crusher hat. There's no way I would have gotten those without the premium Discord. So like I said, check that out as well. Anyways, like I already said, let me just repeat myself one more time. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. As always, keep living star life and peace the fuck out. Bang, bitch, holla when you feel this. Fresh up out the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers.